The single most frequently asked question that we get is, how old is my piano? In order to know how old your piano is, you first have to identify the serial number. And finding the serial number can sometimes be easy and sometimes not so easy. On this piano, the serial number is located right here inside the piano on the harp near the soundboards and strings. This is where you're going to find the serial number on most grand pianos. Although the serial number is easy to find on this piano, it's not so easy to find on all pianos, and we often have people approaching us asking, where can I find my serial number? So we have several pianos here with serial numbers in some strange places, but we can show you how to find them. This is a typical upright with a serial number and a fairly common place for upright pianos. The way to find a serial number on an upright piano like this is first you open the lid, and then you carefully remove the front panel, and you'll find the serial number stamped on the harp right here inside the piano on the back near the top of the strings. This piano is an example of an earlier Victorian piano from the 1870s period. Serial numbers on pianos built this early aren't exactly typical, and they're in some unusual places. And Matthew Sheck, which is the name of this piano, had their serial numbers in a very difficult place to find, although it's right in front of you. So let me show you where the serial number is on this piano. You open the lid, and it's actually etched right here in the wood, right in front of your face, although it's a little difficult to see. Here we have a typical square grand piano from about 1875, 1880. The serial number on a piano like this is generally located on the soundboard or on the harp near the strings. This particular piano has the serial number located in the lower left-hand corner facing the keyboard. It can clearly be seen in the block letters here, 19471. And when we cross-reference that number with the actual manufacturer's name, we can come up with the year the piano was built. This piano is a square grand example from about 1850. Pianos built this early had serial numbers in crazy places, and this one's got one in two places, actually. I want to show you here so that it will help you better identify where the serial number might be in your piano if you happen to have one like this. On this piano, the serial number is located in the back of the soundboard on the left hand side. As you can see right here, it says number 2041. Now this piano also has the serial number stamped on the back right here, 2041. So depending on the piano that you have and depending on the period it's from, the serial number should be in any of these general areas. And if your piano is dirty inside, it may take a little bit of effort and a flashlight to find it, but it's there. Here we have another typical square grand piano, but this one's much later than the other ones that we've shown you. This piano was built just before 1890 and is one of the most evolved and one of the last square grand pianos built. The square grand piano was pretty much extinct by about 1890 in favor of the upright piano. This piano has got the serial number in another unusual place that a lot of people don't think to look. The serial number is actually stamped on the soundboard underneath the bass strings. Now this piano is sitting on its back off of its legs as if it were ready to be moved or shipped. If you look at the way the piano keys are, you can understand that this is the front of the piano if it were sitting up. The music rack to the piano would be right here, and directly behind the music rack is where the serial number is, stamped inside on the soundboard. To further illustrate where serial numbers can be on square grand pianos, we have a square grand piano leg. Not all square grand piano legs have the serial number stamped on them, but most of them do. As you can see on this leg, the serial number is stamped across the top, and you'll see a number four here. This indicates that this is leg number four, and the four is also on the piano to indicate where leg number four fits. So four is not the serial number. The serial number is this five digit number right up here. Serial numbers can often be found on tops of pedal liars as well as piano legs like this. So if you absolutely cannot find the serial number on your square grand piano, take off the pedal liar and see if you can find it stamped on the top. Or if you're brave enough, take off one of the legs and see if you can find that serial number. And remember, we must know the actual brand name of the piano in order to cross-reference this serial number. As you can see here, this piano is a Chickering & Sons, as stamped in the cast iron plate there. The brand name is usually very easy to find. Usually it's on the front of the piano or stamped inside. So cross-reference the brand name with the serial number and we can look up the date your piano was built. This instrument is a Victorian-era melodeon from about 1850. A melodeon is basically a small organ. 
To find the serial number on a melodeon like this should be pretty simple. You simply lift the lid and look inside and the serial number is generally stamped inside the instrument on the bellows, either on a card where it's been written or stamped into the wood as it is in this instrument. Here you can see it says 1572 stamped on the bellows. Most of the time the serial number on a melodeon will be found in this location. In some rare instances the serial number is stamped deep inside the instrument but that requires professional disassembly in order to find it. Here we have a typical Victorian parlor organ from about 1890. The serial number on parlor organs is generally located on the back of the organ and sometimes inside the back panel of the organ. And the way to find the serial number is turn the organ around. Generally the serial number is going to be stamped on the back as it is right here. Sometimes at the factory the serial number would have been written in chalk on various pieces of the organ. You can see a faint outline of the chalk marking right here. But if you look closely, you'll see where the serial number is also stamped in ink right here. If you're not able to find the serial number on the back of the organ, you may find it inside the organ. By simply removing the screws on the back panel of the organ, the back panel comes off and will often reveal the serial number inside stamped on a label or even handwritten inside the organ. This piano shows another example of a serial number found in a less common place than the average piano. This is a 1920s era Weber grand piano. The serial number is located inside the piano on the right hand side behind the pin block. The way to find this serial number is pretty simple if you know where to look. Put down the music rack and inside the serial number is actually stamped on the soundboard underneath the strings. Right here I see the model number which is a U and then the serial number below it. Serial numbers generally do not have letters in them. If you see a letter accompanying your serial number, that's usually the model of the piano. It doesn't have anything to do with the actual date of manufacture. This particular piano is unusual because the serial number is actually stamped in the soundboard. It's not printed in ink on the harp, and it's not printed in ink on the soundboard. It's actually stamped in the wood. This piano is original and unrestored, and when we first got it, it was a little bit dirty inside. It was hard to find the serial number at first. If you have trouble finding the serial number inside your piano, consider the possibility that it may be there, just hidden under some dust and dirt. With a little bit of patience and a good flashlight, you can usually find the serial number with just a little bit of effort.